Hi there. Now, the last part to this question is quite tricky. Um, what we've got here, I'm assuming, by the way, you've watched uh, the part B of this question where we had to find the horizontal and vertical components of the forces acting on the hinge at A. We found out in part B that x equaled 3amg sine theta cos theta divided by B and the y component was 2mg minus 3amg cos squared theta divided by B. And now we're told that given that the force acting on the rod at A acts along the rod, find the value of A divided by B for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already then, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll tell you the answer and uh, if you haven't got it you can check your work solution against mine. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. Now the answer for A over B is two-thirds and if you got that well done because it is quite tricky. How do we do it? Well we're told that the force acting on the rod at A acts along the rod. So let's just put that resultant force in. Let's say we call it P. Okay. So that means that these two components, if I was to draw the force P, okay, we'll just draw it up here. There's my resultant force P. And we've got the two components. We've got x acting in that direction and we've got y acting in that direction. And we know that the angle here must be theta. So I can see that tan theta is y over x. And that is the bit that connects these two equations together then. Tan theta equals y divided by x. And if we substitute these equations into here and then rearrange it for a over b, we should come up with the answer two thirds. So at this point, if you were struggling with this, hopefully this has given you an idea of how to do it. You might want to pause the video at this stage and just try it out. Okay, so let's just put those values in anyway. Now, we've got the y1 then, so we'll put that in as 2mg minus 3amg cos squared theta divided by b. And then this is all divided by, and then we've got x, okay, which is 3amg sine theta cos theta. And this is divided by b. Now, in order to tidy this fraction up, because it does look a bit over the top here, I need to get rid of the b here and the b here. And what we do to clean this up then is to multiply top and bottom by b. Okay, so we'll multiply the top by b, that's these two terms by b, and we'll multiply the bottom by b. It's as if we're multiplying by 1, so it's not going to alter the value of this fraction, it's just going to change the appearance of it. So let's multiply the top two terms by b then, okay? And what we've got then is 2mg times b, so that's going to be 2mgb, 2mgb. When it comes to multiplying this term with b, those two b's will cancel, just leaving me with minus 3amg cos squared theta. And then all of this will be divided by b times this term. The b's cancel, leaving me with just 3amg sine theta cos theta. So that reduces my horrible fraction here down to a normal fraction, okay, with just two levels if you like. Now I can see that I could divide through top and bottom by mg, it's in every term, so we'll just take out mg there, 
mg into mg there goes once and the mg into that one goes once. Now this is equal to tan theta. I'll just pop the tan theta back in there again, all right? Because what I want to do now is remove this denominator. I'm going to times both sides by the 3a sine theta cos theta. I'll just border this off first, okay? So we've got some area to work in. And that means that if we do multiply then both sides by 3a sine theta cos theta, I'm going to get 3a sine theta cos theta multiplied with the tan theta. Now tan theta, remember, is exactly the same as sine theta over cos theta. Bit of core maths here, okay? So we've got that in place of tan theta. And that's going to leave me just with the top line, and that's going to be 2b minus 3a cos squared theta. Now, that means that this cos theta here will cancel into the cos theta there. Now, if I add 3a cos squared theta to both sides, I'm therefore going to have 3a cos squared theta, and then I've got this term here, plus 3a times sine theta times sine theta. So that's going to be 3a sine squared theta, and it's just going to equal the 2b. And what I can do now is factorize the left-hand side and pull out 3a. And that leaves me with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. And that equals the 2b. And you should be familiar with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. This is identical to 1. And so that means that I've therefore got 3a equals 2b. And we're nearly there now because if I divide both sides by b and both sides by 3, I get a over b equals 2 over 3. a over b equals 2 thirds. So quite a tricky problem. You've got to be able to see this part here really in order to be able to do this. And there are a few trigonometric identities like tan theta is sine theta over cos theta and the fact that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. So, good question. Well done if you got it.